do you remember i think one of the biggest thing i'd like to say here is if you remember our first session i started talking about profit quite a lot and do you think now your mindset has changed between a nightly rate and profit now definitely yeah it's um it's one you don't really look at i suppose you kind of it makes you drum down and realize of the business you know it's like you look at all your outgoings and obviously look what your total monthly costs will be look why do you think short-term rental and you know essay owners don't take branding seriously at the moment um i think it's just uneducated really um like you say what you don't know is what you don't know so um i just think people are just thinking of the usual just check on airbnb um and hope for the best rather than thinking about um, the guest behaviours, all the processes that go on. What are your properties doing right now? Um, they're all fully occupied at the moment. Um, we have the odd one night um, or two night gap in between. Sean has over a year experience within the UK, probably about three years experience on a holiday let in Lanzarote. And for us, what a privilege for working for this guy, actually boosting his units in the UK, but also working in Spain. So if you're new to this channel, guys, welcome to another Grow Your BNB videos. We've worked with just over 1400 properties all over the world helping people getting profitable bookings and incredible bookings and today we sit here and talk about another client interview which you guys are going to learn a lot now also you'd be interested to know this because this guy is actually is in, in his holiday let property in Lanzarote right now doing a very special special interview for you Right, guys, welcome back to another client interview. Now, I've got uh, a very good client of ours who we worked for five weeks, build a smashing brand, and as a result today, he's sat in somewhere in Lanzarote, enjoying his holiday let property, obviously, first of all, but also enjoying some great return from his property. Mate, how are you, how are you first of all? Yeah, doing good, thank you. Yeah, enjoying some uh, nice uh, needed sun. Yeah. Uh, especially back home is not so great, so uh, no, we. yeah. Uh, we are, as I was saying you off camera, we are sat on a day of storm in UK, right? So um, it is horrible out here. So I think I was very jealous when I when you showed me a little bit around pool. So firstly, I think the viewers would love to see the pool if you can. Like, I think that's worth on this call. Uh, oh my God, wow. Wait for oh to, uh, God, wow. And how, like, did you say it's 28 degrees? Yeah, so it's 28 earlier um, and now it's about 20, 24. So, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's quite, so Brilliant. just up, up on the balcony, this is my uh, balcony ah. and then my um, holiday. The holiday uh, let property. Holiday let, so uh, do it. And obviously sure, you so. you enjoy it as well as you obviously running as a holiday let when you're not there, right? So look, firstly, yeah. I think mm. today, um, a lot of people are watching this video because of the journey that you've gone with myself uh, and Grow Your BNB. And look, I'm so grateful, first of all, by the way, thank you so much for doing this because obviously it gives an understanding of how we help people like yourself, right? To A, grow your business, to grow your brand, change a lot of behavior. So look, firstly, um, a background about your short-term rental investment and when did you start? Um, so you started pretty much at like April, last year actually april 2021 for essays yeah. that's when we actually went live um yeah. we had units obviously at the beginning of the year but um you know just getting set up and getting everything going um so yeah we we took on uh two rent to rent essay units then yeah. um i've had my holiday let since uh 2018 yeah um which has always done fantastically well um you know it's always been great but obviously that was all pre-pandemic yeah yeah um, totally. and then hit hit pandemic and yeah kind of um just went to zero because oh, i was yeah. allowed to travel everything like that so yeah. um but yeah so holiday let two rent to rent essays and i just currently turned uh end of the year end of last year uh turned my buy to let into a short-term rental as well absolutely and i think you have the best of everything i call it you are an international investor you've got rent to rent goings on your own properties you've turned them into short-term rental you're looking to add more into your portfolio so look i think no better than you to tell what's happened in your business in the last few months right after working with us so one of the biggest question i always start my interview with uh, with our clients is now you understand what obviously grow your bnb is and what brand builder is for short-term rental what how would you explain to someone who's never even thought about this at all um 
firstly, I think you, like like you said from the, the start, really, like you need to understand your clients. You need to understand your guest behaviours. Um, it's not just, um, you know, like you said, chuck on Airbnb and, and fingers crossed and hope for the best. You know, you, yeah. it's, um, it's a business at the end of the day. Um, yeah. You know, it's not a hobby. Um, you know, so we all look in at, you know, what our guests are doing um, and obviously put it direct marketing to those guests. So, Absolutely. Uh, so our goal was firstly, I think the way, best way you explained that was who, who's our client? Because your holiday let clients are a lot different to the, the market you were in on, on you know, in, in your investment area. And we definitely wanted to attract longer term bookings, right? So without further ado, let's talk about some of the problems you were facing prior to working with myself. So obviously you had a vision, you launched those property. Um, but what was the challenge you were facing? Um, the main thing is not knowing when your next booking was coming in. So, you know, it, it did really well. Obviously, we just come out of the pandemic. So, you know, it just staycation boom and, you know, yeah. it just rocketed really. So we didn't have any problems with bookings. Um, you know, the ones in Cardiff. So, you know, it was quite popular anyway. So yeah. it, was, it was it was just like, you know, two night bookings, four night bookings. So nothing, nothing, you know, exciting about just, you know, um, short short term bookings really and um, also did it come i must stop there but it probably just allowed you just made you do a lot of management right so because it was check in check out client yeah how did that definitely. feel yeah it was um quite stressful well it wasn't hugely stressful but it, it was because obviously you'd have new guests in new guests out so obviously a lot of guest communication going on yeah um, we obviously got cleaners communication then going back and forth um, when the next clean was in place if there was any late checkouts so it was always on hand um doing it so with two night bookings there's a lot more processes um and communication that goes on um, unlike the, the long-term bookings yeah absolutely uh, now do you remember i think one of the biggest thing i'd like to say here is if you remember our first session i started talking about profit quite a lot and do you think now your mindset has changed between a nightly rate and profit now definitely yeah it's um it's one you don't really look at i suppose you kind of it makes you drum down and realize of the business you know it's like you look at all your outgoings and obviously look what your total monthly costs will be yeah um and then you know set out how much you want to make a month really so yeah by doing that you can easily set what your monthly target's going to be um yeah. and then going forward and actually is, work towards it as well right rather than like you said earlier just open calendar hoping for the best and don't get me wrong that's how the industry has worked over the years but what in your investment area, there's 300 other people doing the same thing, right? So we, we both knew we need to do something different. So look, why do you think short term rental and, you know, SA owners don't take branding seriously at the moment? Um, I think it's just uneducated, really. Um, like I said, what you don't know is what you don't know. So um, I just think people are just thinking of the usual, just check on Airbnb um, and hope for the best rather than thinking about um, the guest behaviours, all the processes that go on, um, just everything involved around the short-term rental business. People yeah, just yeah. not aware of, really. You know, mm -hmm. people just think Airbnb, they don't... It, it, there's like two differences, you know, there's like your Airbnb nightly rate and then there's a short-term rental business. So um, yeah. there's Completely. like two differences and people don't look at that, that side of things they just look at um, yeah and i and do you know what I, I can tell you so much story about like accidental like landlords like i have worked with landlords right now who's got like 15 properties and they've got accidentally into airbnb business what i call it because all they knew was like they could just put their properties on airbnb so when they start obviously coming and working with me and i'll show them how to get direct booking google presence all of a sudden they're like piers i didn't know this was what you could do with the property itself and the business so look now i love love people in this video always want to sh share okay actually you've had those smaller bookings you were doing okay but you decided to invest on branding for yourself now what has been the result now we're sat in 18th of feb today and what are your properties doing right now um, they're all fully occupied at the moment. Um, we have the odd one night um, or two night gap in between, but uh, outside that, you know, they're, yeah. they're booked in for about seven nights, nine nights, 
Um, we got 30 night bookings, 28 night bookings, um, and a three months uh, booking. So and a three months as well. Wow! And I know because I'm going to share a screenshot. But when you're on holiday, you landed a big booking worth two thousand pound net profit as well, right? Now, it indeed. And this is the beauty about what we've discussed. When we first started five weeks ago, there's a lot of challenges that you face, right? There's no like, there's no like a certain destination you were planning. So how does it feel when you know, like, you know everything about short term rental now? You know how to target the business. How does it feel? Yeah, it's definitely less stressful. Um, you know, without a doubt, knowing that you know, if your bookings are there, they've you know your calendar's full. Um, you don't have to. You're not really worrying too much about uh, the long. You know, are we going to get anything next week, or we're waiting for anything? It's it's, it's more being proactive than reactive as well. Yes. So um, having having those bookings come in, it's, you can kind of relax a bit, and then you know just work back on the. Um, you know, if we got like a two night booking or whatever, we can then open the calendar for two nights just to or fill them. Nights. But we know how to obviously now you know, do the listing for so that. So let know. me ask you a question. What's your minimum night stay in all your properties right now then? Um, for the very short term, so like, you know, anything up to like a week is five nights minimum. Wow. Uh, and then from there onwards, it's seven nights and then 14 nights. Wonderful, so. wonderful, wonderful. So look, I think the interesting part here is why do you think everyone rely on OTA? Because some of your bookings are direct, right? Yeah. So why do you think you know, our you know, fellow operators, they're all rely on OTA all the time. Um, because they don't know any different, I suppose. They, like I said, they just people just think of Airbnb and, and booking.com and that's the only places, you know, they just think, put them on there and, and hope for the best. You know, they don't um, don't educate or invest um, yeah. into those areas to know, you know, how to actually run them. You know, they're, they're, those OTAs are massive, you know, there's, there's no doubt about that. They have they have the market share so yeah. that is knowing how they operate and how you can work with them as well to increase yeah. your visibility um mm -hmm. you know and obviously have your message in there as well about you know booking direct and, and basically just having your brand in there so yeah. people look on there and find you you know and if they want every to single them. one you basically are educating right so you're educating your clients so look um two things here you've worked with me my Ma max my team right how has the four weeks been working with ourselves, first of all? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's been um, eye-opening. Um, there's a lot of things didn't really, didn't really look at. Um, you know, one, one profit pricing, you know, didn't really look at that, knowing what, you know, what we'd be happy to actually make in a month. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously uh, put it, uh, put the, the nightly rates uh, to that, so it would yeah. equal out. Um, make so you yeah, that... to amazing profit. Yeah, good, good. So. Um, what's next i think what's next for your business that's always a lot i like to ask because i know you're growing all the time so what's next coming for your business um adding more properties into the business um as always always looking to grow always looking for for more properties um so that's on the cards at the moment yeah um, so hopefully we'll have uh, more come in in the next uh, couple of months um oh, but we're also working with um, more clients now obviously our branding is um, out here now so we're getting a lot more high-end corporate clients uh, professional players uh, professional sportsmen wow. uh, reaching out to us for for their long long-term bookings you know so um, it's just trying to find properties for them now um, yeah. but you know it's great so we're, we're working with you know different types of clients um, which is growing more and that's that's just down to the branding you know um, we're, we're more out there uh, we've got more presence in in all areas so yeah, uh, yeah. people are just reaching out and asking, you know, um, have you got properties for you know, a two bed property for two months? Have you got um, a wow. three bed property for three months? Uh, we like to take it for that. Um, so, so, yeah, you're, um, you're basically sat there not being able to sort, solve that problem because your property is already full with profit, right? So, so it's such a. Yeah, we've, and had how to do... turn, we've had to turn bookings away. Um, so, we've I've um, recently, while I'm out here, um, we've done about three trying to pass three bookings going on for like a month, you know, they, they were going to book hours, oh, wow. um, but we couldn't take them on because our properties are full. So um, I've just been in touch with other operators and be trying to pass bookings over to them wow. you know, for month bookings. So, you know, it's kind of lead generation as well. You know, we've yeah. got, got people coming to us that we can't occupy, but we can obviously. Sure, I think, so. do you know what, what the beauty is in this process is 
they come to you as a brand, not as a property, because they know who your brand is and they're calling you first to say, have you got any properties, right? They're not calling you saying, oh, I like this property, I want it there. Yeah. Right? And it's such a great feeling to be. So look, um, firstly, look, I think the excitement I have at the moment with your brand, the way it's going, it's incredible especially max and the team always enjoys what we do and you know we like client interviews like this because everyone watches in the team whoever's worked on the account will always know that that's the work they've done right so yeah. i always say i'm the fancy one that comes in in the front and talk about it you guys know that as well so look to a fellow operator who's watching this video right now who aren't getting any bookings or looking to build their brand why do you think it's important they would love to know and uh, what would you suggest them um, first of all, um, outside of yourself, I would just say, you know, work on looking at your your, your nightly rate um, over your monthly rate. You know, look on how much actually everything's costing you and what you're looking to achieve at the end of the month. Yeah. Um, look at your listing. Um, you know, you need to be going over that listing and making sure it's you know it's got everything in there. Um, it's got your marketing. It's got your branding. Um, and then second of all, speak to yourselves. You know, you you, you guys. No, no, you know, in the short term rental space, you know how people operate, you know, your guest behaviors. Yeah. Um, and, and that's something you just really need to look on and obviously market your properties towards. Absolutely. No, thank you so much. Look, it's been a absolute pleasure working for you. I think I would love to, in the, I mean, do, do you know what? We're actually, you're bringing a bit of sun to us as well. I can feel that a little bit. So I'd love to end this call. I'm the other way around. Honestly, I love. I'm, I'm well jealous of where you are right now and the way your properties are set in Lanzarote. Uh, and also, thank you so much for us to be able to work in that location too, you know. For us, we, we've done so much in the UK, but to work in there was actually a quite a nice and proud moment for Grow BNB as well. Um, but more importantly, to work with like investors like yourself who believe in us um, and actually allow us to work in your business all the time. For the, you know for that five weeks we did whatever we can however we can but actually to know after that five weeks it's even growing for you all the time it's so Definitely. interesting yeah, so yeah. look thank you thank you so much for doing this interview mate um have an amazing holiday first of all and i look forward to cap catching when you're back yeah lovely no thanks very much appreciate it and uh, thanks to you and, and max and uh, all the team as well you know who's done um so much work for us has been great so um, yeah looking forward to growing and um, yeah we'll keep you updated yeah thank you so much take care pal thank you right, cheers thanks well you can see how his three units were fully booked working with us with no trouble he was used to doing smaller bookings and all of a sudden working with us all he did was long-term bookings right so guys if you're new to this channel please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button we'll be bringing another client interview very soon there's more and more people working with us right now and also more and more results out there so look if you're looking to work with grow bnb there's a link down below please make sure you put the application one of my team will contact you and we'll be looking forward to working with you thank you so much for watching another grow your bnb video please make sure you hit that like subscribe and we'll be back with another video soon